Wow, the plants here. Unbelievable. Love this. <laughs> Boy squad, we're now here at the botanical garden. Holy wow, 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 beautiful! Look at all of this lush rainforest plantage. Remember, or two days ago, the vlog? The plant life here in St. Lucia is amazing. Wow, I love the landscaping here, awesome. So, apparently, a lot of these plants are imported from Africa and other countries. This here is the cocoa tree from which we get chocolate. You see, this here becomes big and then they harvest it and turn it into chocolate oh there there's a big one right there that one is ready to be harvested see that big green thing there that's ready to become a Toblerone or something a Ferrero Rocher man it must be such work to maintain this place seriously some of the plants they have here are amazing red torch ginger wow I've seen this in the Philippines actually wow the plants here unbelievable love this like a lot of these plants they grow in the philippines and if you're in north america you can buy them as house plants and they're just truly amazing plants are underrated <laughs> truly seriously they're just incredible wow my boy squad up ahead is a cool cool landmark here in this botanical garden which by the way is amazing right is that natural Wow, Mabuhay Squad, check it out. Wow, check that out, Mabuhay Squad. Isn't that amazing? Now, if you look at the water, it's white. Apparently, those are minerals. No, no one's doing their laundry. Those are minerals. How awesome. What a natural landmark. Man, wouldn't it be great to live near a landmark like a waterfall? I think I have a new requirement for my future dream property. It's gotta be near a landmark like that. Waterfall, mountain, river, ants. <laughs> so this here is a wall that talks about Hurricane Thomas, which hit St. Lucia in October 2010. And look at the destruction the island underwent. See? And here's them, them rebuilding. I understand it was very devastating for the island. And then I believe they even had a second hurricane after that in 2013. So like Philippines, they uh, often are the target and victims of extreme weather here in St. Lucia. Oh. RJ and I are buying ice cream, <laughs> ice cream bars. Hot! Hot out here. Taste it. If I can open it during this trip. Mmm, this is avocado. Mmm. Mmm, so good. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Mmm. 
good ice cream, hot sun, beautiful plants. What more can you ask for, right, Mabu High Squad? Mabu High Squad. <laughs> RJ, what are you doing? Let's go, the tour group is leaving us. Unbelievable. I think those are sulfuric volcanic springs of some kind. That's crazy. Oh, I actually see boiling happening. See that boiling there? Wow, what a natural wonder. RJ, did you fart? <laughs> Just kidding, it's the sulfur. It smells like sewage. Like, well, like. The day after partying in the bathroom. Wow, so our tour guide told us that the water here is heated by a natural spring. Like it's a natural spring, but heated by like magma. The heat from like underground, from the volcano. So it's hot. It's like 30 degrees. 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow, this water. Wow, so apparently bamboo is St. Lucia's national plant. Amazing. It was introduced here by um, the Chinese after slavery was abolished. Amazing! Oh my gosh! My boy squad, wow! Unreal! Check out this like amazing, another natural wonder. I've never seen anything like this. Look at the sulfur baths. Amazing! Wow! It looks really hot, RJ. <laughs> now they give us the option to like bathe in these mud baths yeah. maybe not these active ones but like there's an option for you to bathe in it and like put it on your face because it's apparently good for your skin but i chose not to because well we wanted to take an aerial shot of this but uh next time we will bathe <laughs> in the mud bath we also did that in palau but look at it and guys it smells really stinky so the cool thing is that apparently all of this sulfur in the air from these springs keeps like insects and spiders and snakes to a minimum they don't like the smell they're repelled by it oh guys it's lunchtime local passion fruit juice mm. oh, oh, so good tastes like pineapple oh look at this mm, yes to veggies Yum. Mm. Potato? Yes. Mm. It's a potato salad. Banana ketchup? Oh sweet. See, look at how look at their various bananas and stuff. I like that. 
Oh, delicious. Barbecue yes. chicken? Yes, please. Pull up some baked fish. Oh, thanks. Yes, please. Any beans baked for you fish. in there? Um, sure, I'll have beans. Yeah. Oh, black eyed peas. Mm. Yes, thank you. Because tonight's gonna be your good night. Where's the banana ketchup? Oh, here it is. Sweet. Let's try that. I don't know what to put it on, though. I'll just put it on the side. OMG, oh, my boy's good. Okay, let's try this fish. Curry stout fish. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Alright. Chicken. Mmm. Oh yeah. So good. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Good. So this potato salad with the yellow banana ketchup. Mmm. Mmm! That's different. Let me taste it again. Sort of like ketchup, but more banana ish. <laughs> it really tastes like a yellow banana. Mmm! How different. Mm -mm -mm. So good. OMG, guys, banana cake. Mmm, <gasps> with chocolate syrup. So good. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mmm. That chocolate syrup is the syrup they make chocolate milk with. The guide for carnival sailing. Yes, guys. Yeah. I'd like you guys to meet our new friend Valerie. Oh, yes. And come back. Come home. Thank you. I sure will give you a good treat. Yes, she's You're amazing welcome. at explaining everything. Definitely. What's the name of the tours? Uh, land and Sea. The toy is Land and Sea. You go down by land and you come up by sea. Yes. Oh, what a treat you'll get. Oh, <laughs> and she's funny. She's hilarious. Oh, yes. I love it. Yeah, guys, so Land and Sea Tour is what we chose. And it's not done, there's still more. I think we're going to see now. We did all the land stuff. Mm -hmm.